A few days ago, we trimmed the hair on her belly just to allow easier suckling for the babies. And we trimmed around her vulva just to make it easier to see what's going on, keeping it clean. And we got our supplies. We've got our desk lamp clipped to the bookshelf. scissors and here's our little thread tourniquets for their umbilical cords if we need them and now we're just waiting keeping snowy nice and calm her nest box has the inside blanket tacked up all along the edge. There are no seams that she can scratch around. Uh, the puppies won't be able to get under the blanket where they'll either get smothered or cold and can't get to their mommy. Then we have this other layer here that she's going to give birth on. We want this second layer because lots of amniotic fluid and blood will come out during birthing and it will get cold very quick. So then we will take this out after the puppies are born, dry them off and dry Snowy off and then put them all back in the nesting box with the cover that they cannot get under. This is a slight fleece. You want to make sure that it's not looped like a towel because the puppies will get their toenails caught in that. You don't want it really slippery because then they can't get traction when they're nursing. So a regular sheet is slippery, you don't want that. And towels are looped, so you don't want those. This is just a couch throw, very short, plush pile. It's perfect. While we're waiting, we just Keep Snowy comfortable, rub her tummy a lot. Is that a big push? Yeah, good girl. That's good. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh. This looks like our very first white puppy. Our very first white puppy. No fluid in there. There we go. Good baby. Good baby. There we go. Ooh, there was some in there. soaked right away. So now we're just trying to soak up a lot of the fluid here. Yeah. 
Yeah, I don't want to get it all cold. We'll have to put a new dry cover when she's all done. Good girl. What a good girl you are. What a good mommy. Okay, it's about 10 minutes since the sixth puppy was born. And Snow is pretty tired. It's relaxing and feeding her puppies. So I wouldn't be surprised if she's got one or two more in there. But she deserves a rest after all that. Let's see, did you get a nipple? Did you get a nipple? No, you're not even buying one. Good mommy, what a good mom. Suck it. Okay. Rip that sack open. There we go. Wipe up the mouth. they found the one hole that mommy ripped in there. So why well, you have to have everything all sealed up or they will get in there and disappear. Mommy ripped that hole when she was in labor. What a good girl. All the fluid was away, and it was already squeaking, so we know its lungs are clear. There. Good girl. 
Take it away from mommy. Get it all nice and dry. There. It's okay. I got it. I got it there. There. That one's squeaking right when it came out. Good girl. Here, let's mop up the river here. I think it's short enough. Yeah, good girl. What a good girl. Eight babies. That's the most you've ever had. Took the really big ones out that I know had nursed so this little runt could get a long chance at a nipple. Yeah, they're all very good size, but one one's a little smaller. And it was not getting a chance at a nipple at all. So it's all latched on to make sure that it gets a long time on that nipple. I took the four biggest and the first four born and put them in a nice safe box with a heating pad and my husband's watching them. It's okay. And now we can make sure everybody gets that good colostrum that they get right in the beginning. There they are. Good girl. What a good mommy. There they are. All dry and healthy. Everybody's got a big full belly. We held the four biggest ones out for about an hour. Why the littler ones got full bellies. Now everybody's happy. Yep, it was a long day. Good girl, Snowy. It's alright, I'm not gonna do anything. It's okay, go eat. It's okay, I'm not touching them. She's such a good mommy.